In this video, we will be building a circuit using Arduino that can play the game Piano Tiles. First, let us look at the demonstration of the circuit. If you want to have a look at the complete demonstration, please click the link below. These are the components we will need. This is the basic flow of the circuit. The sensing part senses if the tiles are black or white and sends the corresponding data to the processor which in turn sends the command to the touching block which simulates the touch electronically. Let us look at the sensing part first. We use light dependent resistors to sense if the tiles are white or black. The LDIs have been connected to the back of the cardboard like this. The LDIs are connected to the analog input pins of Arduino as shown. They are connected in a voltage divider bias to convert the change in resistance of the LDRs to voltage change. Practically, this is how you would connect the circuit. You can check test underscore LDR code at the link to see if the LDRs are working fine. When you run the code, you get a low value if it's sensing black, else you get a high value. Now let us understand how the touch part works. For this, we have to understand how capacitive touchscreens work. Inside the capacitive touchscreens, the electrodes apply a low voltage to the conductive layer creating a uniform electrostatic field. When a finger hits the uh, screen, a tiny electrical charge is transferred to the finger to complete the circuit creating a voltage drop at that point on the screen. The location of this voltage drop is recorded by the controller and this is how the capacitive touchscreens work. We are going to use the same concept except that in the place of a finger we use the ground pin on the Arduino to transfer the charge on the screen. To have more surface area on the display of the screen we use a coin. Relays are directly connected to the output pin of the Arduino. It is equivalent to a touch if voltage given is high to the relay as there is a path for the current to flow to the ground. It is equivalent to not touching if the voltage given is low because there is no path for the current to flow. Run the test underscore relay code at this link to see if the electronic touch is simulated properly. Finally, let us see processing which is coding on the Arduino. So um, this is all just set up and then you have two kinds of delays which we will be talking about later. And um, okay, so we keep incrementing the count every time. And whenever count is 25, we reduce the delays. So, you know, once you uh, tap 25 blocks, then, then your circuit uh, starts getting faster. And these were just some values we took. And um, you can actually tweak around with these parameters to make the code significant, uh, significantly more efficient. Okay, and uh, this is the code part of the code. If you find that some tile is black, which is that... Uh, it's uh, the voltage it reads is less than 700 then you do this you give the pin a value of high which means that it touches then after a small delay you give it low which means it stops touching and then you give a small delay so that you can simulate the next touch and uh, that's pretty much the same thing which you're doing for each and every pin once you connect the circuit and dump the code main.ino into your Arduino, your circuit should start working. If not, it is because the delays are not perfectly adjusted because you have already tested that the relays are working fine and that the LDRs are working fine. So tweak with the delay values in the code and it should work. We look forward to see what scores the circuit you build makes. Just comment the video of your circuit playing piano tiles in the comment section below. We have fantastic tutorials coming up very soon. So uh, if you like the work we do, please subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay tuned to more updates.